70,000 tons of metal 2016. 70,000 tons of metal 2016 recap, day two. While some cruisers have a little trouble getting up in the morning, new friends meet for breakfast to plan what bands they want to see today. Everyone is excited for the exclusive listening parties, meet and greets, clinics, and of course, the pool deck stage. First, it's time to get some merch. Robert. Diane. We're from Los Angeles. Carolina from Costa Rica. Carlos, Mexico City. My name is Will from Jacksonville, Florida. Manuel, and I'm coming from Mexico. Cruise hoodie. Bader. I picked up a bandana. Belfegor. Two shirts from the boat. Come. <laughs> Every year. <laughs> yes. Well, I haven't slept that much. You have to come here, man. It's fucking awesome. I've enjoyed every minute here. Perfect. This is the best experience of the life. You're missing one hell of a time. Just pony up and get on the ship. Performances are happening day and night all over the ship in four separate venues. The Pyramid Lounge, Studio B Ice Rink, the Alhambra Theater, and the Pool Deck. The Pool Deck construction is complete. The crew has been working tirelessly through the night and everything is ready for the bands to begin. The Pool Deck stage is officially open. Time to grab a cold beer and check out some bands while chilling in the hot tub or lounging on the sun deck. The international ambassadors of metal, the 70,000 tons of metal pool girls, will make sure you get some sunscreen and direct you to the shows. 70,000 tons of metal is now in full swing with the world's biggest open air stage structure to sail the seas. Hey there, 70,000tons.tv. This is Kim. It's day two, and the cruisers are going to meet and greets. Delane gave cruisers an exclusive preview of their upcoming EP, Lunar Prelude. Have fun! Enjoy! <laughs> Six times 70,000 tons of metal, six times sold out. It's something actually pretty good. I think all my team is pretty proud of that. Cruisers were treated to a rare intimate performance with drum legend Dave Lombardo in the Pyramid Lounge. Honestly, I think that's one of the most amazing experiences at all. Yeah. People are really, you know, nice. Yeah, everybody's so polite, so into it. Chill out, wait, I have a holiday. Community, it's it's you're down there with everyone. It's there's no real separation between the band and fans. Like face to face experience with the fans. As I say to everyone, there's no mud here. Playing on a deck, a pool deck, is not something you do every day. Everybody hangs out, uh, takes pictures, drinks together. Everyone seems like it's a big family here. I got to meet a lot of fans from all over the world. It's a great idea to get everybody together and and everybody you know gets on and it's nice. A really awesome time.
Make sure to share and subscribe to 70,000tons.tv. Tune in next week for our recap of Day 3.